Today is gonna be a sad day, but exciting at the same time because I'm wrapping up yet another chapter of my YouTube career, and that is daily vlogging. My daily vlogs are officially ending today. At least for a little while. It's been a very interesting journey. I've had many ups, certainly many downs. But yes, it has been a very interesting ride. Um, I don't regret daily vlogging. I loved doing it every single day. If anything, it gave me something to do every single day. And I think that was my favorite part about daily vlogging. It constantly kept me thinking. I don't know, I just felt more creative. I felt more motivated, more inspired, uh, more connected with you guys because I was basically talking to you on a daily basis which I will do anyway in my tech reviews, but responding to comments on a vlog is a lot different than responding to comments on a tech review or unboxing because vlogs are much more personal. Tech reviews are, hey, I love this phone. It's awesome, buy it. That's pretty much it, that's what a tech review is. Unless you make it personal, I tend to do that now and then. But what I'm saying is my vlogs, they show the real me. Uh, sometimes they were exciting. For instance, you got to see some leg um, when I got out of the shower on day one. And then there's those days where I worked with my dad. And then of course, we cannot forget about the riveting days of myself sitting at my desk. Sitting at my desk again. And again. And finally. I didn't even know details until yesterday. Yesterday's Thursday. So how the f would I know? Yeah, so I think that says a lot about my daily vlogging. I don't think my daily vlogs were that exciting. Now, many of you are going to miss them, and that means a lot to me. But what's most interesting to me is it seems to be split down the middle. Half of you are going to miss the daily vlogs, but half of you are excited to have the weekend vlogs back and even the patrons only vlogs, which I will be talking about later on this vlog when I go over my personal pros and cons of daily vlogging, places where I've succeeded and places where I've failed. But anyway, for now, let's enjoy our day with some coffee. And I just got a very interesting um, product review request. And it's actually unique for once. It's not some kind of iPhone case or power bank, like, you know, like a portable charger. This looks cool. And there it is. It's called Glance Clock. It's basically a smart home clock that can display all kinds of information ranging from time, obviously this is a clock, to notifications, to your calendar, to the weather. This is what I'm most excited about. Imagine looking right up there and seeing like a sun spinning or raindrops falling. I think that would be pretty cool. You can put your name on there when people call you, text messages, even Facebook Messenger, that's interesting. And more. Smart home and IoT devices, I guess that's what that means. Um, alarm clock and timers, alerts and notifications, health and fitness, traffic forecast and location, and you can create more with Open API. That's pretty cool. I believe it's worth $150, so it's not the most affordable clock. But they did ask me if I wanted one, so I'm obviously gonna respond with, hey, hell yeah, bring that thing into my life. I like clocks, I like gadgets, and plus, now that daily vlogs are officially ending for a while, for a while, I'm looking forward to getting back into tech reviews and unboxings. Because down there I have four things to make videos on. Actually, let me just show you. Yep, they're still down there. Arcade Block, Munch Pack, One Up Box, Azul Byte Plus. That's a Windows 10 PC, in case you missed my vlog a couple days ago. And those are my feet. And also, I created a Facebook ad last night for my new project. I woke up today, the Facebook ad was approved, and it's already getting some views and clicks which makes me happy. I love Facebook ads. In my opinion, it's the best way to advertise. Not in the right column. I'm talking about advertising your brand, product, service, whatever, in the news feed because it blends in seamlessly. I've actually seen multiple ads on Facebook 
that I've clicked on because they pertain to my interests so well. And that's how advertising should be. Advertising doesn't have to be annoying. If you know what you're doing, then you can get customers organically and in a good way, not a bad way. You shouldn't have to annoy people saying, click here to do this, click here to do that. No, just put your product out there. And if somebody likes it, well, they're going to take an interest in it. Mac break weekly. It's Mac break weekly. The last this is like episode a new this big glitch. This, this is a new bug we'll talk in the about podcasting what app. That picture with the dots Come on. Actually means and why it might be very it's so see good news now it's for back. camera buffs. All right, I've had this thermostat for months now, which by the way I absolutely love. It allows me to change the uh, temperature and all that stuff from the convenience of my phone. And I will link my review right below, so check it out if you missed it. But anyway, look, I just realized I never took this plastic off, and this is always so satisfying. Here we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> is that not one of the best things about being a geek? It just feels so good. <sighs> okay, it doesn't feel good on you, but it feels good taking it off. It sounds like I'm talking about so many things right now, but I swear I'm talking about this. All right, the daily vlog is scheduled to go live at 1 p.m. today. I usually aim for like 12.30 p.m., but I got sucked in the watching videos on YouTube and stuff like that. Bad David, focus. Hey, man. Meow. I'm gonna head out soon, meet up with my parentals. I doubt I'm gonna put them in the vlog. It's a very quick visit. Um, then I'll hit up Wawa for a roasted buffalo chicken sandwich. I say that dramatically because their roasted chicken sandwiches are so good. Imagine that, I'm listening to Electric Avenue again. What a, it's such a great song. Definitely check it out. Actually, I'll link it right below on Apple Music. I'm sure it's on Spotify and Amazon Prime Music and all that stuff. But it's a song I never really get tired of. It's good bass, good uh, vocals, all that stuff. So anyway. Going to meet the parentals. It's a little warm today, 91 degrees according to my car, but it's really 88 according to my Apple Watch. I believe my watch more than my car. I've never believed thermostats on cars because they tend to heat up faster. Okay, I have mail flying all over my car, guys. I gotta go. Actually, I vlogged at this exact spot yesterday and I said vlogging is dangerous while driving. Don't do it even though I continue to do it. I'm always careful, don't worry. But still, really, you shouldn't, you shouldn't vlog and drive. Focus. Cool. My God, can I eat lunch already? Man, we are getting some things done today. The shed's foot is so freaking close to the finish line. That was a good phone call. It was technically a conference call, so I didn't, I didn't have to talk that much, which is very nice. I don't know the answers to half those questions. That stuff goes over my head. I mean, I usually eat it right away, but my Aunt Teresa came over for a little while. All right, while my chicken heats up, let me give a quick shout out to Oh, who, who? I really hope I said that right. They make these very nice colored pencils. Do you see them right now? No, 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 they're actually not right here. They emailed me first, and because I don't really do videos about colored pencils, um, I was originally gonna say no. But then I was like, wait a minute, my friend Mary is a very gifted artist. Like, she's just downright incredible. So I sent them her contact information, and they actually sent the pencils to Mary. So, thank you very much for doing that, I promise. Um, sending them to Mary was much better than sending them to me. I can't even draw like a good tree or a house. Okay, maybe I can. But Mary really is a gifted artist. So check out a quick clip of her review.
And there you have it. So if you want to watch the full video review of those colored pencils, just click that link in the video description right below. Enjoy, and of course, huge thanks to Oh Hoo Hoo for making this possible. Oh Hoo Hoo. Sounds like something out of Funny Nemo. That's a good thing. It would help if I put the coffee in there first, huh? I cannot believe it's already four o'clock already. Today is flying by. Flying by. Flying by. I'm sorry, I need to stop saying you. David, your camera work today sucks! There you go. Feels like I'm talking down to you, I'm not. Honestly. All right, I'm gonna start typing this week's blog post in DFU. I think I'm gonna title it, What I Learned from Daily Vlogging. That could be cool, right? Maybe. I've learned a lot, that's for sure. <laughs> It's been a fun process, and I'm really, really glad I gave it a shot. As I've said in the past, I would much rather try something and fail at it than not try at all. And I'm not saying I failed. I could have done better, um, but I'm just really, really glad I tried. And so is Mal. Five seconds. Maui? You've got the life, buddy. And now it's 5.19. Man, this day needs to slow down. But I'm being productive. Check it out. This is this week's DFU article. Boom. About two pages. I'm happy with that. Now, normally, I would publish my article on Fridays. I think it used to be Thursdays, but then I just changed to Friday one day. I don't know, I forget. It's been a while. But every week I publish an article on DFU, which by the way stands for DeFranco University. That's my site, obviously, David DeFranco. Just in case you're new to this channel, you never know. But yes, yeah, so this article will be going live tomorrow, Thursday, probably today for you. I have to stop referencing days, it's not really relevant. Um, so you can check out this very article right below. It's all about my thoughts on daily vlogging and things I've learned throughout this journey. I quote journey because it seems like a dramatic word, but I mean, it kind of is accurate. I mean, a journey is typically like an adventure, something you haven't done before, something new to you. And this is my first time ever trying to vlog every single day. And I didn't miss a single day, which makes me happy. Okay, so if you're interested in learning about my experiences with daily vlogging outside of this video, I mean, I'm gonna talk about it some more before I leave. Uh, then you can check out that article right below. Who knows, maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. And as always, I'm completely transparent. If something doesn't work in my content, then I'll tell you. I think it's done. Well, the beginning of it, I still have to proofread. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's 5.40. I have some editing to do, some clientele work. I have two, two clients in my inbox. Um, waiting for me to answer them for certain things. Am I zoomed in again? I probably am, watch. See? I always zoom in by accident. I don't get it. It's actually not that hot in here. Hello, Maui. How are you? <laughs> You're like, lying perfectly still. You're so cute. You wanna go camping with us? You wanna go camping? Just kidding, you are not going camping. You'd probably get lost in the woods. I'm so hyped about camping, guys. I really am. It's been too long. Hey, Mau Mau. All right, let me pick up this very g trash can that I still need to throw away. And let's talk, since this is my last daily vlog ever. Well, at least for a while. All this lighting. I love this sunroom, but it's really hard to find a place for on the camera. That actually looks pretty good. Here's our Skeletor. We can talk together. Which, by the way, your favorite holiday is coming up. I can finally put him to use. Alright, you sit over there. Come here, Maui. I don't want him bumping the camera. Okay, so because this is my last daily vlog, at least for this month, who knows, it could come back next year. Maui, yeah, come on. Plus, I have a lot of Christmas stuff coming up. 
Maui, come on, stop. What are you doing? Chill. You don't have to climb on everything in front of you. Anyway, because this is my last daily vlog for a long time, I want to go over my successes and my failures. Because I try to be transparent with you guys. First of all, let's talk about successes. Number one, pretty obvious, your support has been just incredible. Like, so many of you are saying that you love the daily vlogs and you're sad that they're ending. The fact that you're even saying that tells me I did a good job. Thank you, because I'm always worried about boring you guys. I mean, I love my life. I don't have the most exciting life, but I'm honored to do what I do and call it work, to call it my job. I quite literally get paid to do what I love, and I could not be more thankful for that. But unfortunately, throughout the day, it doesn't seem that exciting on camera. Trust me, it's more exciting for me then it's exciting for you. So I tried to keep things interesting and I think I kept enough people interesting. I mean, views were up. I mean, these, these vlogs get more views than my typical arcade block unboxings and munchback and all that stuff. My tech reviews, no, tech reviews actually get a decent amount of views. Okay, so obviously it varies per product, but you guys get what I'm saying. So that's one success that I can be proud of. You guys actually enjoy these vlogs very much. Some of you did not, you made that very clear. Thank you for publicly announcing that you're unsubscribing. Don't really give a shit. I mean, if you're the kind of person who needs to publicly announce that you're unsubscribing from David DeFranco, then perhaps you were never wanted to begin with. Sorry. There I go again, speaking my mind. If you don't like it, that's whatever. But for everyone who did like the daily vlogs and who were nice to me, leaving positive comments, thank you. You guys are the people who matter. Okay. Another success that I'm very proud of, I said this earlier, but I'll say it again, I did not miss a single day. Now, if we went to Driftwood 2 one of these previous weekends, then yeah, I probably would have missed a day because instead of a daily vlog on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I just would have done a weekend vlog. So technically, yes, I would have missed a day, but I'm really glad I didn't. I mean, I uploaded 31 daily vlogs, and I'm proud of that. That's a lot of work, a lot of time. And actually, with that said, daily vlogging, it doesn't require as much time as I thought it did. Well, mainly because my daily vlog style is pretty simple. I mean, they started out more fancy in the first half of the month, if you noticed. Then I started running out of ideas. I'm like, David, you don't need to do fancy angles. You don't need to do these fancy edits. People just want to see you. They just want to hear you talk their heads off about technology and, and Apple and coffee and Maui. I don't know, there's people out there who seem to like that stuff, so thank you. So that's another success that I'm proud of. I did not miss a single day. And the third success is these daily vlogs actually enhanced my creativity. I felt more creative every day, trying new things, seeing what worked, seeing what didn't work. It was fun for me. After all, I am the creative one. I do design on a somewhat occasional basis for clients, but not as often as I probably should because Video quite literally takes up my life. Video is so time consuming, especially with the weekend vlogs, which I will be returning to. So yes, that's a third success in my eyes, is that daily vlogging enhances my creativity and it can do the same exact thing for you. So if you're looking to be more creative on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe you should give daily vlogging a shot. Why not? Okay, so let's talk about failures. Number one, I don't think I'm good at daily vlogging. I say that honestly. I mean, I'm not saying that looking for attention or whatever. I honestly believe that. I mean, I don't think I'm cut out for daily vlogging. At least right here in this house in South Jersey. I don't think this is a very vlogging friendly area. Yes, I could go to Red Bank Battlefield here and there, but how much Red Bank do you guys really want to see on the vlogs? I could go to Philadelphia across the river, but it's not as close as it seems to go across the bridge. I'm not a big Philly person, as weird as that is. I love, love New York City. But Philly, I don't really have anything against it. I'm just not a big Philly person. I feel a lot more comfortable in Manhattan than I do Philly. Let's just say that. Not because of crime or whatever, just because I love New York. Sorry, but the camera just shook. Maui's next to the uh, trash can. Anyway, so I don't think I'm good at daily vlogging. I think I'm a lot better at weekend vlogs because I typically leave the house on the weekends. During the week, I don't do that. And yes, if you haven't noticed, this is going to be a very long clip because I want to be honest with you guys. I want to tell you how I feel. So that's the first thing. Number two, I failed in the sense that I should never have brought up this big secret to begin with because I didn't know it was going to take this long. 
I honestly didn't. I thought I would have known maybe a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, but I still don't have a definitive yes to this big secret. And yes, I made a lot of people mad in the process. It is what it is. I'm sorry. It's my business, my privacy. When I'm ready to tell you, then I will. I thought I was going to be ready by now, but clearly I was not. So I failed in that regard. Made a lot of people mad. Made them upset. It's whatever. People get over stuff. I'm not saying I have to be a smartest, but life moves on. Tomorrow's another day. So there's that. And my third failure, and the biggest one of all, Patreon. I thought, okay, at first, I knew going into daily vlogging would have an impact on my Patreon campaign because I was essentially taking away exclusive content, the Pages Only Vlogs. I mean, having the Pages Only Vlogs and daily vlogs, it doesn't make sense because my patrons would see the same exact content you guys are seeing, except during different times of the day, different angles, different words, whatever. That would be boring. That would get boring so fast. So that's why I took away patrons only vlogs to put all my focus and attention on daily vlogs. And yeah, that kind of blew up my face. I mean, I expected maybe like a hundred dollar decrease, but no, my Patreon campaign went down a few hundred dollars. And as a 30 year old adult who pays rent, car insurance, health insurance, student loans, all these bills, all these bills as an adult, I simply cannot keep daily vlogging going on if it means having a significant negative impact on my Patreon campaign. And there's people out there who will say, well, David, you're just in it for the money. No, I'm not just in it for the money, but money plays a large role. I'm not some 13-year-old kid who just wants to buy video games. No, my life is a lot more important than spending money on things like Wawa and video games, which I obviously do, but you guys see the big picture, right? Come on. My future needs to be bright. I cannot risk my future just because I want to take away exclusive content. Now, so with that said, I'm proud to announce Patrons Only Vlogs will be making a grand return next Friday, September, I think September 9th, yeah, because the Apple events on um, Wednesday, September 7th. So that's definitely my biggest failure. I expected an impact, but not that big of an impact. And it's kind of ironic, too. I put out more content, but I was making less. I mean, at least on Patreon. Views and revenue actually kind of went up in terms of YouTube and full screen, which makes me happy. But I can't rely on ad revenue like I can rely on Patreon. Patreon is a lot more reliable than ad revenue because ad revenue goes like this. Patreon kind of goes like this. It's like a small wave, but ad revenue, it's like a freaking roller coaster. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on daily vlogging, the pros and the cons. If you're thinking about daily vlogging, please take everything I just said into consideration, especially if creating videos plays a significant role in making a living for yourself, generating revenue. Because let's face it, generating revenue is not something you should mess around with. Numbers should always go up, not down. It's business 101. So there you have it. Daily vlogging is officially coming to a close for me through the month of August. Careful, I said through the month of August. So who knows, maybe I'll start daily vlogging again in March. I'm not going to do November or December or October. October, I have a lot of things coming up. November is Thanksgiving and all that stuff. Then December is just crazy. But I promise I, I will be making plenty of Christmas videos, weekend vlogs, pages only vlogs, tech reviews, unboxings. So this is goodbye, but only for this chapter of my YouTube career. The next chapter opens up, well, not until like Tuesday or Wednesday. Speaking of that, the next weekend vlog will not be out on Monday because I'll still be in Driftwood. So look for that on Wednesday. So I guess you could say I'm taking a mini YouTube vacation again because I'll be gone for like four or five nights. But I'm looking very forward to it. I miss Driftwood too. I need to get back there. I need to just chill, look at the trees, listen to the birds, go to the lake, jump in that nice dirty water and come out screaming like a girl. It's what I love to do. So guys, thank you so much for your support especially if you watched every single daily vlog. It really does mean a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next weekend of Vlog and See Vlog.
Oh, and by the way, I might be moving. <laughs>